This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Sagittarius from August 26th to September 9th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? The Chariot. Seven of Cups? I knew that was going to come out. Six of Wands. Whatever you're doing here, is getting you a lot of attention in these next two weeks, especially the attention of your love interest. Whatever you're doing here is putting you over the top in the eyes of this love interest. They're fully coming towards you here. They see some new potential, some new opportunities. This is really good energy. This is really good. I don't even know what to clarify here. I want to know what's what's in your corner here. With the six of wands. Like, what are you doing? For you? The page of cups? For them, actually, for them. Mortification. Whatever you are doing is not only putting you over the top, like you're getting a lot of recognition from a lot of people. This is something better than you expected. This is beyond a pleasant surprise. This is, this is something to be thrilled about to the point that this love interest of yours is unable to deny this connection. Like the chariot is them moving forward in the same on the same path as you. It's, it's almost like that situation where you're, you're moving so quick here that you could be getting away. Like you're definitely feeling, you're, you're definitely getting to that point of victory where You're looking down at them for not taking this opportunity with you sooner. This is crazy energy for you here in these next two weeks. <laughs> Let's get to the random love generating questions. What does your love interest think of most often when they think of you? Good question. There they are, the two of swords. They were sitting on the fence. Ten of wands. And the page of cups. Another page of cups. I'm getting the sense here that whatever victory you're getting, you already expressed to them. Like you knew something good was coming to you. You expected this victory. And... What they're thinking most now when they think of you is that they were on the fence. They looked at this situation as a burden. It's, it's like they didn't believe you. Let's clarify this two of swords here. <laughs> because they're definitely not in a good place. For them? Oh! They're jealous for you. They know that they had a chance. They're, they're yearning now. They are jealous. So clearly whatever's happening, whatever victory you're getting here, it's already started for you. You already are experiencing the benefits and they are seeing it. So it is blatant, but it's, it's getting even more intense here 
in the next two weeks. Beyond, beyond what you believe is coming, it's going to be better. What, what they think about most is that there's jealousy. They want you right now as you're watching this. What will happen if you reach out to the love interest in the next two weeks? Oh, four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. You're more focused on whatever it is you're doing here. Whatever's given you this victory, it's it's promoting it's promoting more focus for you. And towards them, it seems like you've already put in the work and you were rejected. Like it, it's like they, they were just sitting on this. Whatever was offered to them before is theirs to, to pick up. It's, it's not like you're putting any more work into this. You're putting work into yourself here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you've, you've already sowed the seeds and they're growing. So you're just going to wait for it to come into fruition. You're not putting any more energy into this love interest. But let's... Uh, Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, shall we? For them, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, <laughs> drink it in. For you, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've, you've already put this in. You're just waiting on it now. You're waiting for this person to come towards you. And they have this cup to drink in. You know they're drinking it in. So, yeah, I don't see you going towards them. That's not even on your mind. <laughs> what do you need to watch out for at this time, in these next two weeks? The sun. The sun with the strength card. And the Five of Swords. You may not be fully understanding, even to the point of distrusting this good luck that's coming your way. It's going to be so much better than you believe it to be. This is like a great awakening. And the Strength card is you felt this coming towards you. But now that this is coming in with this five of swords, it's it's like you're second guessing it. It's like you're you're thinking that it's too good to be true. It's that kind of energy. Let's clarify this this five of swords. Oh, for you, <laughs> eight of cups. <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 thinking that you you don't deserve what's coming. Like you 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 don't think that you're worthy of it. For them, merits. It's it's like you don't you you are worthy of it, but you just don't somehow you don't feel it. This is huge. This this is a powerful change in your life and you've wanted this you've fantasized about this you felt this coming in you know that you're worthy but at the same time it, it's like it's so big so much so fast that you don't think you think it's too good to be true <laughs> in a way <clears throat> so yeah what you need to watch out for is is that lack of believing in yourself you are worthy of this. This is divine intervention telling you that you're worthy of this. Who will be taking the next action towards whom? <laughs> These are swords. The lovers. 
and a Knight of Cups. This love interest is going through and there's going to be an epiphany here. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the next two weeks, but they're, they're going to have this epiphany about this connection. Lovers is soulmate energy. So it's like they see you as the one. And with the Knight of Cups on your side, you, you do want this person. You, you, you feel a lot of authentic emotion towards them. So you will be meeting in the middle somehow. Not sure where the communication is coming from. We know that you've already sent that cup out and they're having an epiphany. Let's clarify the lover's energy. <laughs> For them, the star card. For you, four of cups. So it's it's looking like it's coming towards you. It's it's gonna come at a time where you feel that this connection is over, where it's like you know you're ready to 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 empty that cup and and. Stop your emotions towards them. And at that time, they're soaking it in. The star is another, cape, another indicator of soulmate. So we got two soulmate indicators here. Lovers multiplied by the star. So the, it, it's, it's going to be this insight, this epiphany to them that you are not just the one. You are their wish fulfillment. They're going to be bathing in it. Like there, there's no question in their mind when they have this epiphany that you are the one. <laughs> in the extended, we'll look into what happened that made the love interest act the way they did towards you. Well, we, we kind of saw that they saw you as a burden. <laughs> they saw whatever you offered them to be a burden. But how does the love interest view you at the moment? Uh, we kind of saw that too. They're jealous. But again, these questions, the way they come up, there's, it seems to me like there's a meaning to it. Like I know I clicked the, the thing on the computer and they random generate, but the way they come up a lot of times it just gives more depth. Like it's like there's a meaning to how they come up. What does the love interest find most attractive about you? And we'll ask, how will the next love offer be accepted? Perfect. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.